What is up guys? Welcome back. It has been a minute since I've talked to a camera. Pardon me while I get my bearings. I know I told you guys I wasn't going to film this week. I was like, I'm taking Christmas week off. I'll see you guys in the new year on the 31st or whatever. But then I started watching everyone's what I got for Christmas videos and I was like, I gotta do one. I like couldn't wait to film, especially because I got so, I'm, people always start their like what I got for Christmas videos off with these disclaimers. They're like, oh, you know, this isn't to brag. And like, you know, I don't want to like make people feel bad if they didn't get all the stuff that I got. And like, I'm here to brag <laughs> because my family knows me so well. I got some of the awesomest stuff and I am basically just framing this as gratitude. I, I really like cannot, I'm just completely overwhelmed with how wonderful my family is and how well they know me. So you guys know I'm not only a makeup girl or only a skincare girl. I have a lot of stuff that's kind of like lifestyle oriented and I'm kind of hearing you guys loud and clear in a lot of the comments. By the way, that's just a mess, isn't it? Whatever, it's presents that we're gonna talk about. Anyway, I'm hearing you guys kind of loud and clear on, hey, I don't really wear makeup, but I enjoy your channel. Like, can we get some other kind of mix in some different content? Yeah. Um, as I am moving into like cleaner beauty, it kind of lends itself really, really well to cleaner entire routine, cleaner, like, you know, minimalism. I mean, even though this is my job, it kind of flies in the face of just buy, 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 buy all the time. And so I do want to start in 2019 kind of, kind of pivoting just a little bit. We're still going to, you know, do tons and tons of makeup on here, but I hope that you guys, like, I hope that I'm hearing you guys correctly that what you're kind of looking for to is more lifestyle -y stuff as well. So give, give me some feedback. But guys, let's go ahead before I just jabber on forever and jump into what I got for Christmas because it's all really, really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I should start by saying that my family tends to manifest the stress of the entire year into how they buy presents for Christmas. And this was a really stressful year for everybody. And so we all kind of went crazy. I posted some pictures on my Instagram, like on my stories of our tree. Granted, my mother had a teeny tiny tree, so it made everything look bigger anyway, but like the dogs couldn't walk in the room. We just, we had all these presents and then my sister got to town and she had a really stressful year. And so she bought every present they made. So most of the stuff is actually from my sister because she went amazingly crazy this year. Like I'm completely, like I said, like overwhelmed with gratitude because not only is it all like fantastic, but it just is so personal. So we will start with, I don't know, I have just piles of things around me. The first thing I posted this on my Instagram uh, last night and you guys were all like, oh my God, those are flawless and they are. So these are the pants, they're pajamas from Reformation. My sister really concentrated on uh, clean beauty and um, conscious companies for my gifts because she's amazing. <laughs> and so um, as soon as I open this, it is really, really cute. It's this like really, oh, I should button this a little bit. So that's what the top looks like. I'm obsessed. It's so lightweight. It seems like, you know, a very kind of heavy pair of, of pajamas, but it is like really, really breathable. It feels really cool on your skin. The fabric is really cool. And as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh, Reformation is very conscious. She's like, I know. <laughs> she kind of knows everything. She's uh, a branding consultant. And so like, she really, really gets it. And I feel like she like encapsulated my brand without really meaning to. Maybe she didn't mean to, I don't know. But I wore these for the first time last night. I didn't want to wear them the first night that I got into town from Christmas because I was dirty. And I like didn't shower until the next morning because we were just like exhausted. We'd driven for like 14 hours straight and I didn't want to wear them because I was like, well, I just, I want to be clean and pristine when I wear my new PJs for the first time. And so I wore them for the first time last night and I was like, these are incredible. She was pumped that they fit. Um, I got them. She has them for me in an extra small. They are out of these, but they make pajamas all the time. They have a shorts set on there right now too that is really cute. And I think that basically everything that I saw last night when I looked on their website was like sold out. And so uh, I think it's just like post Christmas, but they will restock on all this stuff. So ugh. I toned my hair. I don't know if you guys can tell, but hopefully it's less like 
fluorescent mustard in the camera. Um, a couple of little things that she got me, uh, these, these chocolate bars, they're both the same, but they are by a company called Condor Chocolates. These are all like, well, not all, but a lot of them are people that she knows in Atlanta, I guess. Yeah. Out of Athens, Georgia. This is Palo Santo dark chocolate with Bulls Bay smoked sea salt in it. And it is so good. It is so good. And I know you guys are like, Kaki, you're allergic to sugar. I'm allergic to cane sugar. And this is just regular organic sugar. I think it's beet sugar. And so it gives me a little twinge of a headache, but like it's 150% worth it. Um, I was just like chowing down on this one on Christmas morning. It is so good. I never thought of Palo Santo as a flavor. When you burn it, it has this amazing, almost an umami smell to it. It's like a sweet woody smell. So like, actually it tastes fantastic so i will link all this stuff below to the best of my ability a lot of it sold out but i will i'll try the next thing that she got me uh was this kind of combo here from little barn apothecary which is a company that i mean they sell it at like ulta online and stuff like that but it's out of atlanta and so like she went to the actual shop and apparently she knows the guy there too she got me the honeysuckle and grapefruit body oil and also the white tea and amber soy candle you guys First of all, I tried this last night because I ran out of lotion at the perfect time. And I put this on my legs and it was so funny because like my legs just, they're the driest, we talked about this. They're the driest, grossest thing in the world. And that's not even negative self-talk. Like they're frustrating. Like I don't even like showing my legs because they just, ugh. I used to joke about covering them in tattoos because I just hate my legs. But I put this on and like my legs just went, like drank it up and I was like, okay. And so I just put, some more on and I kept putting more and more on until like literally my my skin glowed and I showed my husband I was like look my tattoo is in like high relief it's in like technicolor it's not hidden by this like veil of gray skin and he was like it does look really good this stuff's really really amazing and I mean I say I used a lot but not really um I've been using it for the last couple of nights and it's wonderful and I smell utterly fantastic. Uh, honeysuckle and grapefruit is a really epic combo. We talked about this actually. Um, jasmine, honeysuckle, those smells. I did buy the full size of the My Daughter Joyful perfume. It should be coming any day now. Um, so yeah, I do really, really love my honeysuckle fragrances. So I love that. And this smells like some kind of high-end boutique hotel in France. I don't really know how else to put it than that. It just transports you. It's phenomenal. It makes me smell like I am classier than I am. And it's not woody. It doesn't have any of those like nasty, like, I don't know, headachey Abercrombie and Fitch bass notes to it. It's light, it's gorgeous, but it's complex. And it is like giving me life. I've been just, I've been trying to like pace myself because they're sold out online. So if I like finish this, I can't just go out and buy another one. But like, you guys. <laughs> I pretty much think that anything from this company would smell incredible. So uh, I definitely suggest checking them out. Y'all, I'm afraid we're looking down the barrel of another hour long video at this rate. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, what's on my nails right now? I actually painted over my shellac. I tried to do some reading on the cleanliness of nail polish. And I know that most of them have like formaldehyde and all kinds of crap in them, but I am such a shellac girl oh because it makes my nails so long and like invincible so let's talk about that because like using regular nail polish kind of frustrates me because my nails are usually so flexible so they just shed polish like the same day that i paint them usually but anyway i used this on top these are two nail polishes that my sister got for me from the brand odeme or odem or odeme i don't think it's odeme in the shades uh majorette and odeon let's pull these out they are five free and cruelty free made in America in Brooklyn. And the shade I have on right now is this shade Majorette. So it is this really beautiful cornflower blue. It kind of leans a little bit kind of purple E indigo, but it's like, I don't know, it's beautiful. And she knows that I love blue nails. It's kind of my thing. And then this is uh, Odeon, which is a really, really beautiful kind of like verging on navy blue color, royal to navy. And the go on like this is one coat i'm really impressed i mean yes it's on top of gel and so um i mean obviously the opacity was already built by the gel but i love it it's so pretty and it's such like a unique color and i love the idea of nail polish that is five free so that's fantastic again thank you sister um <laughs> 
I could be showing you my year old running shoes right now because these are the exact same ones. <laughs> If you watch my vlogs, you have seen these before, not these exact pair, but every time I go for a run, I like talk about the shoes that I always prefer to run in. I have been running like as my main mode of exercise for as long as I've known Mike. So I've always been a runner my whole life, but like Mike really got me into it because he's super into it. Every year I have needed basically to buy a new pair of running shoes. And I've been through so many different kinds that gave me various kind of overuse injuries and imbalance in my gait and things like that. And so, you know, it hurt my ankles or it hurt my knees or whatever. And it sucks because it's a very expensive set of experiments when you're talking about running shoes. You're like, oh, Oh, well this didn't work I guess I'll try another pair for a hundred dollars so when I found the New Balance Minimus Vibram collection which is what this is I just never looked back so the way that I make these work because I can't stand my shoes slipping all over my feet these are in a size 8 I do wear a size 8 normally running shoes will run a little bit big ish but these being Vibrams obviously they don't have the toes like the other Vibrams just you know you're either that person or you're not and I'm not that person they have the very 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 minimal sole like you can see they're just like incredibly small and like they're foot shaped they turn up and everything but I wear orthotics inside these are just the regular Dr. Scholl's like running orthotics for uh, people who are prone to runner's knee because I am prone to runner's knee I just my IT band is really IT band yeah my IT band is really really tight and I tend to run on my toes and so it just like <laughs> tightens up my knees hurt my back hurts the bottom of my foot hurts it's a whole mess and so uh, I just pack these orthotics in there and my shoes fit like crazy snug as a result but it's fantastic and so I took these on their maiden voyage on Christmas Day because in Florida where we went home my, my home for Christmas it was like 68 degrees and clear blue skies and sunshine. My parents live out in the woods and so I ran from their house out to the main road and back. A little out and back was about four miles round trip and it was delightful. I loved it so much and I just love being able to have new running shoes that already feel broken in because I have owned so many pairs of them in the past and they stopped changing them every year which is fantastic. I can go on Amazon and just like pick out the same pair every single time which is boring but it's also like adulthood you know you find something you like you buy it every time so then uh i opened these my mom got me these and these are my this is my favorite color this like goldenrod color i just love it on my skin i feel like it just pulls out all of the flattering tones and i can wear some really great kind of like fuchsia makeup with it or not but like it just gives me vacation khaki vibes in the best way possible but also like fall you know so my mom always gets mad at me because you know she's a knitter she uh, owns a yarn store and so every time I pick out yarn for her to make like a project for me with it's always in like this color she's like geez khaki you're gonna make me like knit for like a month using one solid color that's like boring orange and I was like yes yeah these are from a uh, company called Fibrous they're actually local to Austin even though I think she just got them at her market that she goes to as you know a business owner and it's kind of funny because my friend Ellen uh, has these and I saw them when we were in a meeting one time and I was just like those are dynamite those are so good and then my mom just bought them for me like I didn't tell her and so I got these and I was like oh my god I've seen those before and I had a fit over them and I love them and so uh and also you guys know I've got plugs and so if I'm going to wear kind of hooky earrings like this like dangly earrings they have to be really light and these are super lightweight they're awesome they don't weigh my ears down at all so uh I love them I love them they're like me in an earring so Mike I opened these up first from Mike these are some smart wool socks and they are so cute they're done in like a fair aisle pattern We've been taking some more kind of like cold vacations lately and he just knows that base layers are the difference between me being a happy camper and me being miserable and complaining the entire time. And these are just terribly, terribly cute and uh, I'm really, really excited to wear them. Plus the smart wool socks that I do have like literally only fit inside of boots because they're so fat. These are really low profile and really pretty and I'm like excited to wear them over leggings and actually just like pull them up because they have such a cute pattern on them, so. Thanks, Mike. He also got me this. This was like my big gift from him that I was very specific about. When we were in Telluride, I tried this on at the Patagonia store and I had a freaking fit over it. And uh, it is like, you know, the teddy coats are really in right now. Everybody loves, you know, this kind of like rags material. 
can't believe I just said that. Rags is my teddy bear <laughs> from when I was a kid. Why would you guys know what I was talking about? Snuggle bear material. So I, when I was like two years old, I was given a snuggle bear and I snuggled him so hard that like all of his like fuzz is worn off now, but uh, he's still sitting next to my bed. I still love my rags. That's what his name is. His name is Rags. But uh, he started out like this. So, you know, there's like the joke that everybody's, you know, just looks like a snuggle bear right now, but this is the Patagonia version. It's a little less hip. It's a little more functional. It's not like, you know, cropped and everything. Like it's, it's very, it's fully lined. And Patagonia, again, very, very conscious company. So uh, yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I didn't have like a good knock around jacket that I could throw on, on top of anything. I just have like a ski jacket and like a really nice like coat that you guys have seen, that like camel coat. But this is, this is everything. This is like invincibility. I love it. So that's not the only outerwear item that I got this year. Uh, my sister was really funny. I opened this and it literally says, you know, two sister, and then it says this might be a total miss. Like, let me know if it's a total miss. So, um, obviously this looks a little hilarious on top of another denim shirt, but it is just a classic, like lightweight Levi's jean jacket. And then on the back, she had it um, like personalized. It says Mrs. C. <laughs> and I've always been Miss C but now I'm Mrs. C. So yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I don't know what she was like worried about. It's awesome. I'm gonna wear it all the time. I actually have a jean vest from J. Crew that like has never really looked right on me, but I've used it to kind of store all of my like collection of enamel pins over the years. And now I have something that I'm actually going to wear that I can put some of those enamel pins on and just be generally <clears throat> adorable. And then one more thing for my sister, and this doesn't even like sum up everything that she got me, but uh, look at this. Um, yes. There really isn't much to say here <laughs> because this is just so me. Like I said, my sister kind of gets my brand. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I have this on display in my room with like a little air plant and some other little stuff. You guys might have seen it on my Instagram. It's just giving me all of the good vibes. Okay, so I had to take a break to let my battery charge because I apparently did not charge my batteries before I left for Christmas. I took the time as an opportunity to meditate and uh, I'm just feeling very at ease right now. Let's go ahead and jump into like house cooking lifestyle stuff. So uh, we got like a ton of these. I love them. Mike is obsessed with them. My sister is obsessed with them. My mom is obsessed with them. And we have this huge pantry and really no way of organizing it up until now. And so we had a lot of these that we'd gotten for wedding presents, but my sister got us even more of them. I'm just kind of showing you one because we have like several downstairs. And my mom also got us these really cool carousels, like one's a double decker carousel and one's just like a regular Lazy Susan for inside of our, oh, how did I get dirt on it? That's interesting. Yesterday I pulled those out and like organized our entire pantry and it is so functional and so wonderful. My mother comes to town and she basically comes into my kitchen like she did for my wedding and just cooks up a storm, but she notices all of the holes and the pockets that need filling in my kitchen and in my routine. And so she did that for me this Christmas. She was just like, yo, here are the things that you are missing. And so she bought me like a ton of spices that are all downstairs. She bought me a bunch of like storage solutions and things like that. She also bought us, this is really heavy. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> this is Pyrex snackware. So it is a bunch of stackable, it's an 18 piece set of food storage containers that are all glass. They're all the glass Pyrex. So they can go without the lid, of course, directly into the oven. And you can just cook in them if you need to. But we have like, like I said, hilarious pockets in our routine and in our collection downstairs in the kitchen. And one of them was the fact that Mike and I had just like these containers that had just been brought over to our house by other people and then left here, but that was it. And some of them didn't have lids and a lot of them just didn't match and they all are just like cluttered. And I mean, it's, you know, it's like an infomercial. You look, ooh, the avalanche of pieces of storage containers just, you know, falling out of your cabinet, like 
you just, you can have a very organized life and still have just little pockets of things that you haven't managed to like adult yet. And so my mother adulted this for us and got us uh, all this really, really nice glass snapware. And I'm really, really grateful for that. Really, really excited to use that. Oh, this is not technically Christmas. This was our wedding gift that my sister just didn't, sh she didn't want to ship it because it's enormous. And so she knew she was going to see us at Christmas and we were like, just hold on to it. We have gotten so much stuff for our wedding. It's like overwhelming. Oh. This is a Le Creuset Dutch oven, and it is red, and it is gorgeous, and I'm going to stick one on the screen, because I don't want to pull it out of the box right now, but it's really, really pretty, and my sister got us that as well, and uh, yeah, it's in the cherry shade. My mother, <laughs> I asked for this. She got me a, uh, a Lululemon gift card, because I am in desperate need of some new like running clothes and stuff like that, and... Um, finally, and this isn't really like finally, because there's just so much stuff. There's so much stuff. We got so, like, I'll be really honest, guys. It's hard for me to do this and stay in the right mindset, because materialism is a very easy thing to fall into. Materialism, by my definition, is just identifying with physical things instead of doing the work and identifying internally and it's a very easy crutch to kind of fall on and I've noticed recently as I have uh, like gotten a job and things like that and then also Christmas financially as soon as I have a little bit of liquidity it is much harder for me to stay in a mental space of not identifying with things all the time and so the answer for Christmas for that for me has been just gratitude and trying to, you know, see it for what it is, not as like a thing that defines me. While I do think that, you know, these kinds of videos are so much fun and I don't want to like rain on anybody's parade and I am like, I know I got a bunch of really, really cool stuff. It's still hard for me sometimes to not be like, okay, I want to chase this feeling. Like it's such a thrill getting a bunch of new stuff. Like I just want to keep getting new stuff. I, I find that I like start to kind of muse in my brain about like, oh, clothes I want to buy because it's like I get to, you know, uh, think about my identity in that sense. And then I realize I'm thinking about my identity in a sense of, you know, what I own. And you'll never be content, or at least I will never be content in that cycle. And so um, I do, I just like have to consciously pump the brakes in response to this kind of thing because I mean, balance and non-duality and uh, non-attachment kind of teach us that, right? Where we are essentially borrowing from the opposite when we experience any kind of extreme emotion. So I'm experiencing like extreme elation at these kinds of things. And so that does have to kind of like balance back out. I have to kind of borrow from the other side and be like, you know what, Khaki? Like this is supposed to be a temporary feeling. It's, it's an elevated feeling, but that should be temporary because if this is the kind of thing that gives you that like saccharine sweet like you know sugar in your veins kind of feeling it's not sustainable and so just kind of keeping that kind of perspective about this it's been a really cool interesting mental exercise because obviously being a minimalist is easy when you have no cash flow <laughs> Much easier, uh, much easier to be grateful for what you have. It's kind of crazy how the more things you have the more things you want and so I'm still trying to kind of pump the brakes on that. It's been a very, very interesting revelation for me. I really thought it was going to be easier um, having gone through what I've been through over the last five months to kind of not fall into that pattern. But my brain immediately went back into that pattern and I was like, whoa, holy crap. Um, and I found myself getting kind of bummed out and I was like, I, I find that really surprising. So um, I'm distancing myself from online shopping. That's like one of the biggest things. I uh, just find that it just doesn't do me any good. Whatever's living inside of that phone, inside of that inbox, it's not healthy. Um, and that kind of dovetails into some of the mental exercises that have been really positive. Oh, dang it, I left it downstairs. So I got a few books, one of which I will stick on the screen. It's next to my bed because I'm reading it. And it is uh, Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. And I love her so much. And I'm just kind of like burying my nose in things right now. I'm also loving the, this is not a favorites video, but I'm also loving uh, the Make Me Smart podcast by Kai Rizdahl and Molly, what is her last name? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of trying to like fill my brain with knowledge instead of 
want and need and this like restless like self-identification with like buying things I just mm. there's a reason that when I had money I didn't have any money <laughs> and when I didn't have money I had a lot more money if that makes any sense it, it, I really it's like it's it's a very very it's like probably one of the best New Year's resolutions that I've ever made in my life is to continue the mindset of gratitude and not manifesting lack while actually having cash flow it's it's interesting. I'm sorry, I digress. The other ones, uh, my, my mom got me this one, it's called The Beautiful Cure, uh, The Revolution in Immunology and What It Means for Your Health. I am very interested in this. I didn't ask for this specifically, but this is right up my alley. I'm, uh, I'm very interested to learn kind of like that. It says, uh, forget AI robotics, the internet of things. This is where the future feels strange and exciting in ourselves, the inner universe of our messy complex immune system and in the radically new therapies that are using it to conquer disease. Dave describes how these cells perform with the fervor of an enraptured dance critic. I'm really excited because I've been, like I said, reading, I've been reading all, I read like three books at a time, but I've been reading Becoming Supernatural and Becoming Supernatural kind of applies a lot of uh, the like tenets of meditation and um, you know philosophies around it but puts them on a physical level and talks about kind of like you know gene expression and like you know cellular behavior in your body and things like that electromagnetic fields it's 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 heady it's woo woo but uh but yeah i just i'm autoimmune i've got uh psoriasis and celiac and like just you know I, i'm kind of a like i started being kind of messy on the inside about 10 years ago and since then I've been on kind of like a mission to heal myself and it's going pretty well. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this is cool. I'm, I'm like excited about a book that, you know, someone would buy for me that I've never heard of. Mike got me, uh, Lake Success, a novel by Gary Steingart. So I'm a huge Gary Steingart fan, mainly the book Super Sad True Love Story. I read it a few years ago, a few years ago. God, I read it right before Mike and I started dating. So, I mean, that was, you know, six years ago. It feels just like a few years ago. I tried to read a uh, Russian debutante's handbook and I couldn't get into it, but uh, I'm hoping that this one is really good. The first review on it is from Elizabeth Gilbert, who I love. And she says, this is a novel that seems to have been created in real time, reflecting with perfect comedy and horrible tragedy, exactly what America feels like. Right this minute, as I read Lake Success, I barked with laughter at the same time wincing in pain. Gary Steingart has held up a mirror to American culture that is so accurate and so devastating that it makes you want to break the mirror right over your own head. I mean, this is a good thing. This novel is stupendous. So if you don't know, Gary Steingart is a, uh, he does satire and uh, even Super Century Love Story was very, he's a, he's, you know, Russian American, first generation Russian American. And in fact, he might even be, I think he's an immigrant. And so um, he, it, he just sees everything through a totally different lens, especially when he's talking about America. And he does cherish a lot of the things that he kind of grew up with in Russia. And so um, it is really, he has a very interesting point of view. And he, he parodies so many things in American culture that tend to be kind of oracular, like kind of creepy oracular. Like he has in uh, Super Century Love Story, like he's just taken like social media to this crazy extreme when it comes to dating, where like everyone wears these like things around their necks that basically like rate them when they walk in a room, everybody gets an alert as to like, you know, who they are, how much money they make, how old they are, how many people they've slept with, like their affability, like it's, it's very, uh, it's satirical. It's kind of like a little bit dark and a little bit crass. Um, and then there's also, you know, the ways that we're being advertised to is parodied in that book, but it has become a complete reality. He predicts, I don't think he meant to, but he kind of predicts war in Venezuela. It's just, it's all very like, it's extremely, extremely current the way that he does it. And he has this like weird kind of like black mirror crystal ball thing going on. And I don't mean black mirror the show. I mean, black mirror, like, uh, what's his face? The, the old philosopher, what was his name? Why do I say Nosferatu? <laughs> Not no sort of do. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I love his style of writing and I haven't read anything by him in a long time. Okay, I've been filming for a really long time. And uh, even though, like I said, that's not everything, that's enough, I think. <laughs> Guys, I, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you're looking forward to uh, some, some cool content in 2019. I am really, really excited about 2019. Give me your requests down below for what you wanna see. I know I have a lot 
of new people. And so if there is an item that you want me to review or if there is a type of video that you want to see that is not makeup related, anything like that, please let me know because I want to hear all of you. I am so, so excited to welcome so many people onto my channel. It is so freaking exciting how we're at like 10,500 right now. It's awesome. And I think 2019 is going to seal the deal. I mean, we are cooking with gas, you guys. I'm loving it. I'm feeling so like this is where I am at home is on my channel. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you for being a part of this and a part of what it is going to become. I love you again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.